Make any quilt unique with the 4D Quilt Design Creator software. Draw an image or use a clip art to create special quilting designs that follow any theme you imagine, like this summer-themed quilt. Let's see how to make the cute single flower shown in the quilt. To make the wonderful little flower on our quilt, we're going to start by quick tracing a picture. You can simply choose any picture that you've drawn or clip art that you want to work with. Follow through the design wizard using the different tools that are available as you go through to make sure your picture is just what you want it to be. To enter the size, you want to choose the size either of the hoop that you're going to be using or also you can choose the block size as well. So I'm choosing a six inch block and I'm going to optimize my design. That's it, we've quick traced our picture that fast and easy. Now let's go up to the design player and see how this is going to stitch. So following along, the little picture that was drawn, you can see how the quilt design creator has made the design. Once you get done looking at your design as it's going to stitch, you can also adjust the design by going into the edit area and clicking on nodes. Simply click and draw, see how you can move the nodes to make an area a little bit more rounded if you choose. And you're just going to click and drag very simply and easily. These are all the different nodes that you can work with to make your design exactly the way you want it. Another way to work with a picture is to simply load a picture. We're going to choose the exact same picture we used before, our little flower. Again, following through the wizard, letting it help you make the best choices for your design. In this case, I'm actually going to put in my own notes. So I'm going to make click and drag, and actually just click, putting in points around the drawing. For straighter areas, use less points. For curved areas, use more points. When you get toward the be your first node, notice that the arrow turns into an arrow with a little plus. Simply click directly on that and then there's your, your little flower. And again, notice what you can do is you can edit your points, move them around, to get exactly on the line so you don't have to be perfect the first time. Another thing you may want to do as we move those points, get those in that right area, is you can also use the control key on your keyboard and notice how these center points are turning into a square. What that does is it makes sure that everything is nice, straight, and it's got a great point right at the end. So those squares mean you have a point rather than a curve. Let's use our design creator, our design player. You can see the design is actually stitching exactly the way that I created it in my quilt design creator. It's that easy to make that great little flower on our quilt. I hope you enjoy working with your quilt design creator.